Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the uh, questions that I got uh, from a viewer, and I see this from time to time uh, pop up, people using big screens, um, mostly, you know, your TV, basically, your smart TV as a PC, uh, with a PC, and, of course, as a monitor for your PC. And, you know, we talk about screens that could be 50, 60, 70 inches and one of the things that will happen from time to time is somebody saying, well, you can't use Windows in one of those big screens. Things are so small, you can't see anything. And there's no reason for that. That simply means that your settings are not right. First, I want to say one thing. When you right-click on your desktop and you go into Display Settings, one of the things you will see and you got to resist is to change the display resolution. The display resolution is chosen automatically. When you look at the list, um, the display resolution, the default that it gives is usually the one that Windows just wants you to use. And you want to keep it like that for multiple reasons. If you start playing with display resolutions, you might fall into resolutions that actually your TV cannot uh, use. The other thing is um, the sharpness and the precision of what you see on your screen can actually be degraded by using a different resolution. Typically, what people will want to do is take that resolution, for example, here, 1920 by 1080, and push it down to, you know, maybe 1440 by 900 or even lower. And I've seen people put, you know, like 124 by 768 because they just couldn't see much on the screen. And you really, really don't want that especially since a lot of the apps today just ad adapt to whatever resolution you have. I think the biggest uh, setting that you can use for that display in Windows 10 is the size of the text, apps, and other items. And there is a default or a recommended percentage. Usually what it will say is and understand, okay, I've got this resolution and probably this display size will actually make things better. So 150% recommended, usually the recommended is what you're going to keep. In general, the recommended means that things should be big enough for you to see at a distance, even on a big screen. And usually the bigger the screen, the bigger the recommendation here. So you could have a screen that might say 125. This one says 150 recommended. Um, I've seen screens, really big screens, where they go, well, 175 might be better. Uh, just follow the recommended. And if you still find that it's too small, you can always move on to a bigger percentage. But remember one thing. Using the percentage zoom uh, can change. You know, so it changes the size of the text, the apps, and other items. And what happens is some apps are not capable of running correctly in there. So, for example, you might have menus that the OK button is out of the screen range and you can't go and get it. You might have apps that uh, text looks weird or is missing part of it. Uh, this could happen when this is used improperly. And if you find that it's maybe too big, there's no harm in changing that recommended and go down to 125 or 100. And you find that it's fine and that everything looks great. Just leave it like that. It's, it's all right. Recommended isn't always necessarily what you want. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.